Hi, this is Justine from Two Lucky Cats, and today I'm going to talk about creating uh, some potpourri to fill uh, the sachets that we've made. Now the easiest thing that you can do to fill your sachets is to get some lavender blossoms. Now you can purchase these either on eBay or Etsy. All you have to do is take the lavender blossoms and maybe mix a few drops of essential oils or fragrant oils and then put them into your sachet. Lavender not only has a great fragrance but it's also supposed to keep the uh, moss away from uh, your clothing. If you do have lavender growing, when the uh, buds begin to blossom, you can cut off the stalks and then bunch them together and hang them uh, in a dark, dry place for about a week. And then you can just take the stalks and roll them between your hands to get the uh, seed buds off. The reason I wanted to make uh, my uh, make sachets and make potpourri was to use uh, the petals from the roses that uh, grow in the back of my house. And as you can see, here are some of them. They're a deep dark red and they look like velvet. And in past years, they just all fell uh, on the ground and blew away with the wind. But this year, I thought I would harvest them and dry them so I could make potpourri. And I'm going to tell you how uh, you can do this. As you can see, here's some of the dark petals that have been dried. And I have another rose bush that's uh, a tree rose outside of my house. And they have pink petals. And when these dry, they dry to a deeper, darker color. There's not as many of these as there are in the back bush. But you should can see the petals are very uh, a beautiful sh shade of pink. Now, you're supposed to um, harvest the roses when they're about this size. And uh, you're supposed to do it in the morning after the dew or any rain uh, evaporates. Now, uh, one problem with that was a problem that I had was for about a week when the roses started to bud, there was rain every day. And if I waited until everything evaporated, all the petals would have been on the ground. So I did uh, cut them and I put them in water for them to open up more. Uh, the reason you're supposed to do that is so there's no uh, water stains on the petals when you dry them. But I really haven't been able to notice any uh, uh, water stains on the petals. And I'm not sure if I use these petals to make sash uh, potpourri to put in sachets that you'd be able to notice it anyway. Even though with the sachets that I may have this little window in it. But anyway, it could be because the petals that I'm drying are dark. So I would suggest that you do try to do it in the morning when they're dry if you can't because you're having rain, this, just experiment and see what happens. Now, to dry the petals, the easiest way to do that, I think, is to do it in the microwave. Uh, it only takes a few minutes at the most, and as you can see, the petals retain a really nice uh, color. So, what you need to do is get a microwave safe plate and put them on a uh, paper towel and d microwaves uh, heat up to different temperatures. So what I would do, what I would do is what I do, and that is put them in for about a minute. And usually that isn't long enough. So then I might put it in for another half minute or a minute. And then sometimes it takes another minute. Probably depends on the temperature of the day and then how much humidity is in the air. Once they're dry, and they should be pretty. Uh, crisp and, uh, and dry. I do put them on a sheet for about a day or so just to make sure that all the moisture's out. And then I store them in uh, glass jars. So let me just show you. The other thing is if you're drying a lot, you probably want to have a couple of these dishes available because even in the microwave they get hot. So what I'm going to do here is just pull along the edges and take the petals off. And what I've also been doing is um, taking some of the smaller leaves and then just spread them out. Let me do another one here. Oops. Put this in here. And just pull along the edge like this and spread out the petals. So you can see what they look like before they're dry. And then, here, let me just show you the comparison. 
So this is what they look like after they're dry. So they do turn a darker color. You can also do this with other flowers. Uh, if somebody happens to give you some roses, you can just do the same thing and maybe make potpourri uh, to uh, keep the, uh, the, uh, the gift, to use the gift after the, uh, the flowers would have died and instead of throwing them away. Now let's make some potpourri. You can go on the internet and you can get uh, a, a lot of different recipes for potpourri. But I like to keep things simple. So what I'm going to do is use a one-to-one, -one, um, get a cup full of rose petals here. There we go. Put it in a glass dish. And then I'm going to get a cup full of, um, there we go. Put this over here. Put a cup full of lavender buds. Put that in there. Close this up. And then I'm going to use some orris root that you can also get on um, eBay. And I'm going to use uh, two teaspoons. And this is a fixative to help, I guess, fix the scent. And then I'm also going to put just a little bit of cinnamon in here to give it kind of a spicy flavor or uh, smell to it. Just a little bit. Because we don't want to overpower the scent. Close this up. And then I'm going to put a few drops of the uh, lavender essential oil. Now let me just tell you the difference between essential oil and fragrance oil. Essential oil is made from 100% uh, plant material and it usually takes a lot of material to make a little bit of oil. So it's more ex uh, expensive than the fragrance oil. Fragrance oil is either made of 100% scent chemicals or sometimes it does have some natural scent products in it, but it still has chemical products in it. So it depends on your preference and your pocketbook. Some people do have allergies to um, the artificial scent. So if that's you, I'm sure you know uh, who you are. So let's just put a couple drops of this in. And just mix it up. Now, mm, that smells good. Now, what I'm going to do is put it in a glass jar and let the uh, fragrances mingle together and for about two weeks and then I'm going to fill up my sachets. I hope you've created some potpourri that you can enjoy all summer long as well as into the winter. Um, I hope you enjoyed this project and we have a lot of other projects uh, for you to do. So come back and see us often here at twolukycats.com.